the recent McDonald's outage uh, might have just caused you to have Thai burn instead of my spicy, but it's actually something much, much more serious. Eh. Watch on, uh, and then you'll go sell well. Uh. So, so, uh, so, on 15 March, uh, which is a Friday, uh, at around 4 30 pm or so, uh, McDonald's has an outage. No, uh, not because they have yet another salted egg yolk fries. Uh. That one uh, is not outage, that's outrage. Uh. That one uh, is honey mustard. Uh. In Singapore, uh, it's app and McDelivery website was down. And here's the thing, most of us uh, order McDonald's from their self-service kiosk too, and some of these kiosks were down too. This means uh, people have to go up to the counter uh, and talk to a human being uh, to order their food. Eh. I'd rather not eat here than to talk to a human being. But you get the idea. Uh. There was some sort of chaos, uh, not just in the restaurant, but reportedly uh, in the kitchen too. Moreover, uh, cashless payments weren't available. Reports state that on some occasions, customers were turned away, while in Japan, some stores just closed all together. Uh. The outage lasted for about 4 hours, where by back then, uh, we thought it just affected several countries in Asia or Australia. We soon learned that it also affected some European countries, and according to reports, they have already faced some issues uh, at like 5am over there. Eh. McDonald's uh, then explained the outage. Uh. They say it's not related to a cyber security event, but due to a technology outage. Its chief information officer uh, said that it was caused by a third party provider uh, during a complicated change. Now, now, this seems funny to us, uh, but here's the thing. We're all familiar with outage by bands or telcos, but we have forgotten uh, that almost everything uh, uses technology and they can all face outage. I mean, just think about it. Uh. 10 years ago, uh, would you have gone out to buy McDonald's for your wife uh, and then come back and say, Hey, sorry, uh, McDonald's uh, has an outage, uh, cannot buy, uh, so I buy Gohyong. Cannot be right. No McDonald's, uh, they buy KFC, uh, they use brain, uh, use brain, uh, Gohyong is a food. How is it related to McDonald's? My sister said, I buy Hachong Kaya, it's related to McDonald's. Eh? But you get the idea, which leads to the next point. If uh, in a country, almost everything is powered by technology, then that country uh, can be disabled by technology too. Eh? And here's the thing, this is ongoing now, even if you think it's not. Because in this peaceful world we are living in, uh, cyber welfare is actually ongoing. A landmark case uh, was revealed in 2010, when the world suddenly knew that a cyber weapon uh, has actually been planted in Iran. A computer worm uh, known as Skarkara was spread in Iran's computer systems, and it kind of spread widely in the country. Though its target was a very specific related to Iran's nuclear program, so that the program is disabled. No one has great responsibility for that, uh, but it's widely speculated uh, to be by its enemy, and if you have some general knowledge, uh, you know who. Uh. But anyways, uh, anyways, uh, how is this related to McDonald's? Eh? Simple. Uh. That shows uh, cyber welfare uh, is very active worldwide, and the McDonald's outage uh, shows the worst dependent on technology, even for the most basic tasks, like ordering food. Now, do remember that the McDonald's outage uh, isn't due to an attack, but you get the idea. Uh. It's about how we can be disabled from the simplest things uh, due to the mess Massive use of technology. Still not convinced? Uh? Do you know that the Singapore public healthcare website outage last year uh, was caused by an attack? This is why nowadays uh, nations don't need to be destroyed by explosions from bombs. They can be disabled by implosions from keyboards. A good example would be from Obama's Netflix movie, Leave the World Behind. In the movie, uh, a group of people who were in an area without internet uh, didn't even know what the heck is happening, except that the country has been attacked by hackers. The country is imploding from within, but this group did not implode, since they live in an area uh, that's separated by technology. In the movie, uh, Tesla cars were moving by themselves, uh, power outage uh, were occurring everywhere, uh, no one uh, could access any news. I think uh, maybe McDonald's also down, uh. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but you get the idea, you get the idea. Now, what can you do after you learn about this? Eh? Nothing uh, actually. Just know that in the past, uh, keyboard Keyboard warriors were just people who say that your mouth is bigger than your hand. Nowadays, uh, keyboard warriors uh, could literally be soldiers uh, who use keyboards to defend our country so we can all sleep well every day. In the meantime, uh, if you think I learned something, uh, consider subscribing now. And also watch this video uh, to be slightly smarter.